Hey everybody, it's me. Uh, I'm just making this video because it's uh, first day of Ramadan and so on. And also coupled with a lot of uh, misery and sorrow for people who celebrate it. So I figure like inspired by people like Malcolm X who uh, died for something they believed in. It would be a good idea if I try to lead people. So like I thought you guys. Here's a good example to start with for the thing. Um, like you've all been in a situation I'm sure if you have kids or you, you you know you are a person's kid so definitely you have experience being a kid at some point so let's say like okay you're a kid and you spill some stuff and you go well it was a mistake you know you could either wait for your parents to clean it up for you, or you could clean it up yourself if you knew how at the time, right? And so, uh, my aim is really not to influence any human being because power is not something I'm interested in. So, uh, like, because I know the nature of power and that uh, bearing it has so much responsibility that it's not worth taking um, but then those who believe it is worth doing will have you do some stuff which they cannot be held responsible for and such things like that so my original point being like, that, like you know where a kid realizes what it did wrong and then fixed it up and then the parent would be like yo this kid is not the devil you know like, this one's definitely uh, not defective. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, you know, the people, like, who, for example, go out and get books on how to be a good parent before they are a parent, you can maybe assume that they're, they're going to be the terrible parents, right? Because they need to, like, check a book when they should just wait till they're confident, right? Or confident enough that they'll be able to uh, rise to the challenge, right, people? I say all that because uh, when they send you to school and all that in our society, which is so free, it's not so that you learn how to lead or govern. In fact, it's so that you don't lead or govern, and so that everywhere you go, a stereotype reinforces to you what's going to happen if you're too smart. You're going to be labeled a geek. And uh, no one wants to be a geek, so why study, right? Uh, so they don't want you to be a good thinker or governor or anything. That's why United States of America cannot import Kinder Eggs with those, those little things. That in Canada, people used to get these, right? They're like little chocolate eggs. And Americans, cannot, they cannot even import these things. If you get caught at the border trying to bring those to America, you're going to get in big trouble in our free world, right? Where, where the border with Mexico, you could get across and nobody would know. Nobody would be any the wiser. But because those kinder eggs uh, have proven to be a hazard to you Americans... Meaning that many's the American who cannot read or write that opens it up and says, Ooh, look, it's a chocolate egg. I'm going to swallow it. And then they choke like an idiot. So what I'm saying, people, is like whether you like to be a governing body by yourself, over yourself, uh, is up to you, right? But you probably shouldn't be manipulating others. That's a whole other thing to talk about because that's what the leaders do to the detriment of everybody else. Uh, they will divide and conquer, pay money to build walls so that God forbid you see on the other side of the wall there's people who look just like you and who do the damn near the same stuff as you and you might as be as human as them. You know what I'm saying? So... While your leadership fails you, I will not, and I just thought I would give you, uh, you know, my biases and so on, so that you know I'm not trying to take power over anybody. That would be hideous. 
my point is to make you guys better at governing yourself because uh, many's the coward who says, oh, I just made a big amount of money and I'm going to waste it all on myself. Have they read the Bible? If they believe in the Bible, they should probably uh, give a little bit to charity. I know that Islam makes it very clear to you what to do. Uh, in terms of charity so that you must be a charitable person or you're not going nowhere but uh, getting the big boulders smashed over your head now the human tendency to become a coward is because people have been uh, shielded by the rulers who take uh, you know they say the cost of freedom well, in the New York subways, you guys are feeling the cost of freedom because you've got the National Guard and state police in your subway. When you're trying to get home, uh, they might check your bag. So you're paying the cost of freedom. All that stuff that they do for you when you pay them, uh, turns out they're using you like... Uh, like uh, there's pimps who don't treat their products nearly as bad you know and so uh, I just hope to encourage you guys to think for yourselves don't be subject to stupid racist stuff uh, don't become one of those people because trust me uh, you're not all that much different from people with different color skin especially if you peel your skin off you look exactly the same so why you're racist you know People who are racist is disgusting, okay? That's what I think about that. Hold on, everybody, I got a cough. And now I'm back. So, okay, what I was going to talk about originally was there are human beings who are starving to death in this world, right? And uh, I saw Milton Friedman talk about how, despite the fact that World War I, World War II, and the Great Depression were caused by the Fed, in his words, not mine, uh, he said the Fed did not live up to its responsibilities, and therefore they were guilty by not acting, as most people are guilty by not acting. Um, if you see somebody getting hurt, the, in Canada, there's laws that say you must report it to those uh, Waffen SS looking policemen. Otherwise, you'll be subject to, you know, the law and all the goodness it entails. When they tell you for your public good you're going to be screwed, uh, tell them, no, I'm not. And uh, if you don't stop threatening me, there will be some, you know, problems in the future for you. Because if they know they could tread on you, and you'll be like, oh, okay, they're just walking on my head again, uh, then they know they'll do it again, they'll do it again, they'll do it again. The one thing that makes rich people, no matter how rich they are, afraid, is when, the, when people read the books they might be afraid of. But you know what? In America and Canada, there are not many people who could read the books that they are afraid of you reading. So you've been failed whether you like it or not. Whether I'm telling you the truth or a lie doesn't matter really, does it? Uh, but you've been failed. You cannot read the books which they would be afraid if you were reading. But once you realize uh, they're not going to stop using force to uphold the status quo, as brutal as it is, you might add or else to your protest, uh, like ceasefire or else. Uh, maybe you would have the knowledge to do such a thing, because they don't value nonviolence for the same reason you do. They value it because they can laugh at like hell when the police are kicking your head in and thinking these stupid mother, you know, these stupid MFs fell for that non-violence stuff as they kick your head in. Uh, you know, people, don't be this stupid. Share this with somebody uh, who has enough money that they should be afraid. And uh, maybe we might one day have what we deserve. Uh, that is the earth. 
Okay, hey everybody, this is uh, part two of what I was doing. I just realized I didn't get to the point. Uh, my point is that once humans govern themselves, they will need no government to steal from them and uh, do what they're doing with it. Milton Friedman even says government programs are what harm uh, the economy not human initiative, which they also sort of like sap away. Um, furthermore, if you realize that perhaps, um, you hear my stomach rumbling? Ha ha ha. Okay, if you realize the root causes of psychological disorders, um, criminality, narcissism, uh, sociopathy, are all pretty much the same, which is like, competitive amongst each other instead of cooperative amongst each other which is a sociable way to do it and guarantees the survival of the whole damn thing not just the people who are uh, quickest to take so also Milton Friedman was asked about what is a responsibility to the poor I saw one time somebody asked bravely and uh, he said, well, there should be nothing. Should be nothing because people are giving if they want to give away to the poor so they won't see these people die uh, in front of them without helping. Uh, that really is a disingenuous and a devilish idea that he had because he's assuming people are rational. Now, when you've started selecting people, for jobs and stuff being not rational that's a trait that you'd like to see in them when you are going to employ them because then how are they going to fight for better wages and such how are they going to get more out of it than you're willing to give them if they're not rational right and then you've created a fascist who will go around and use their authority to screw with other people who are in their line of sight and just ruin the idea of free will throw it on its head by giving people who have a reaction to this craziness the label of mental illness hopelessness manifest is what mental illness is when you realize what the world actually is doing that causes mental illness you know what I'm saying um, unemployment causes mental illness. Low living standards cause mental illness. The, the rich would... Uh, well, well, I'll put it this way. If they solve the mentally ill problem, right, by providing everybody uh, maybe a universal basic income or else, then um, w how would psychologists and psychiatrists make a living? How would all the medicine manufacturers make a living? So we've got a world set up to uh, commodify, lie about, and tell you mistruths about everything. I would advise you watch uh, Malcolm X by any means necessary speech. Uh, he went from being a thug in the streets, which I respect because at least... Thugs in the streets are honest with you. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you they want your stuff. They're going to take it. Hey, everybody. Uh, I just said something that would definitely anger those people who do actually run the world, but I'm just not allowed to speak about it. So, yo, the point is when we begin to govern ourselves, we will not any longer watch people suffer and do nothing about it because that's not what somebody who's learned what self-understanding teaches we're not that different from everybody else uh, so no one is free until we're all free if you people did not uh, whisper to us hold on don't do anything stupid uh, use nonviolence and the revolutionary power which it comes with and and maybe you'll you, you'll be able to die before liberation is what they're leaving out 
MLK sold out to the establishment and uh, the March on Washington was supposed to be a whole different group of people actually. So what they did was they found out that it was happening, panicked because they did not know what would happen. And then they told Martin Luther King, I, I know he said, I didn't have anything to do with it, he said. And they said, well, we're going to put you at the top of it. Go sing uh, to them, we shall overcome. And all that. I recommend looking up the song, uh, The Movement's Moving On. It goes like, move on over or we'll move on over you. Because once you realize the, the uselessness of any dignified struggle, they call it dignified, but starving is not dignifying. It, uh, absolute uh, power will corrupt and absolute hopelessness will also corrupt and have people believing that their master is their best friend. He's not. And you'd be better off if you knew what he knew, that he, he can't, you know, uh, go without surveilling you because you're so powerful, but you don't realize it. If you realize it, unite with others and do something about it, then we'll never have uh, tyrants running all over our heads. And uh, lastly, everybody, I think I should end with... Um, let me know how everything I said went down because I'm just trying this because I know nobody will listen. But at least if a few people figure it out, it was worth it. Uh, I'm not doing it because I think I'm going to make money off of it. Because YouTube has told me, no, you're not going to make money off of your stuff. So the freedom of this system is beginning to starve me uh, to the point where I will rip their head off. And that day when it comes, you guys will be holding me back if I act prematurely because of you starving me off, everybody. Uh, because we do have obligations from one, uh, you know, viewpoint wherein we have a society comprised of a bunch of people who are supposed to care about one another and do not. Now, so, once we realize that if we do not act along with those who want change or liberation, that we are then being the ones who stop them from ever being able to attain it, then we will not impede everybody else like that. And uh, that may get you spared your head when the time comes. So, peace, everybody.